Hello and welcome to the beautiful Swiss city of Basel. So right behind me is their main railway station, Basel SBB. And today I will be on one of Switzerland's flagship high-speed trains, the ICN, and I'll be taking it for the full route of IC51 to Biel. So without further ado, let's go. So welcome to Basel SBB station. Basel SBB is one of Basel's main railway hubs. The other one is Basel Bad Bahnhof, located north of the Rhine River. Since I booked myself a first class ticket for this journey down to Biel, you might be thinking I'm heading to the first class lounge. Sadly, that is not the case as there is no first class lounge here in Basel. The only lounge I could find was in Zurich, according to the SBB website, so I'm currently heading for the platform overpass. The platform overpass is where you'll find most of the shops and eateries here in Basel SBB. I'm also quite a fan of the wood tilings on the ceiling. I think it just looks really nice. After a bit of waiting at the platform overpass, my train is finally pictured on the departure screens. My train today is set to depart on track 14. So without further ado, let's head right to track 14. And, just like that, my train arrives. My train today is composed of a single ICN train set. ICN isn't actually the formal name for this train set, as it's just a German nickname. The formal name for this train set is the RABDE 500. These trains entered service for SBB in 2000 and have a top speed of 200 km per hour. So, without further ado, let's get right on board. First class is laid out in a 2 plus 1 configuration, with seats mostly being bays of 2 or bays of 4. Alright, so I am officially on the SBB ICN first class cabin. And uh, as you can see from the shop before, this place looks so classy. I mean, if this isn't first class, I don't know what is. But uh, yeah, let's have a seat tour, shall we? So um, the leg room, well, the leg room on the seats is pretty good. All seats are made up of bays. I'm on the solo side. And since there's no one at the moment sitting uh, on the seat in front of me, the legroom is pretty good, but if someone was sitting in front of me, the, the legroom would get a little worse. As you move up here, uh, there's a cable, which folds out, it's sturdy and clean. There's a little sticker here showing you that this is the quiet car, it's a trash can. Um, up here is the control 
for the reading lights. Yeah, there it is. Reading light. There is the seat reservation thing. That if you reserve the seat, which I did not, they would put a little piece of paper here to indicate where who's sitting here or who's not sitting here. There's a coat hook and a pretty slim see-through overhead rack. There are also, if you have bigger luggage, there's these luggage racks down here uh, at the end of the car. And yeah, that's pretty much it. This is a pretty nice and overall pretty classy first class cab. Now, is this seat comfortable? It is. It's very firm, but it does the job for about a one hour trip. Um, up here, there's a little um, headrest with a little pillow. Number one stands for first class, and here is the logo of the Swiss National Railway Operator, SBB. And here it is, the same name in French and Italian. So down here, you have this lever, and pull it down. The seat reclines. Currently, the only negative is that I don't see any charging ports, which for a train that still runs in 2022 is, well, it's not exactly optimal. All right, update on the charging port situation. Actually, I'm kind of surprised I did not notice this. They're right here on the top. And just like that, we depart Basel SBB bang on time. With that in mind, I think it's time we take a look at our route for today. After leaving Basel SBB, our train would head south, stopping at four intermediate stops before arriving in Biel. Our trip today would take one hour and seven minutes, and we will reach our top speed of 200 kilometers per hour in the Grenchenberg Tunnel. Time to take a look around our train. I am currently in the dining car, which sadly was closed for this trip. However, when you look at it from a business perspective, running a dining car service on a full journey that only takes one hour and seven minutes just doesn't make any sense. Here's a look at the first class compartments featured on this train. While I did not sit in them personally, I do think these compartments offer a great amount of privacy. Here's a quick look at second class on board. As you can see, the majority of second class is made up in bays of four. Although there are some airline style seats available, as seen here. To finish off the tour of this train, let's take a quick look at the lavatories. The lavatory is wonderfully decorated, and I'm happy to report everything was in clean and working order.
After Moutier, we enter the Grenchenberg Tunnel. This is where we will hit our top speed of 200 km per hour. As this trip comes to a close, what did I think about SBB's ICN First Class? Despite this trip not being mind-blowing by any means, I still had a very good time on board. The scenery was absolutely beautiful, and in my opinion, despite this being Switzerland, I feel First Class is very good value for money. You get exactly what you paid for, more seating options like a quiet car and a private compartment, and if the dining car was open on this trip, you would get food served directly to your seat, which is quite a plus. Speaking about paying for things, how much did I pay for this trip? Well, I paid about 22.6 Swiss francs for this trip, and like I said before, it is not too bad value for money. So overall, would I recommend first class? Yes, in my opinion, First Class has just enough perks to justify its slightly higher price. And if you find a good and justifiable price out there, I highly encourage you to take it.